Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you information and insight into the board games you might want to have in your collection. So who's in the mood to build something truly spectacular? Well if so, here's five things I think you need to know about Villages of Valeria. Look, two types. Da -da 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 -da. Villages of Valeria from Daily Magic Games has one to five players take on the role of a duke or a duchess of your own castle. Now the king has decided that he's on a quest for a new capital city and it's up to you to grow your lands to try and take the title. The winner is the person with the best city at the end of the game. Mechanically speaking, this game is a tableau builder through and through. The aim of the game is to manage your resources so that you can build buildings and attract adventurers to your city. You'll start the game with your castle in play and it'll produce a resource of any type and a handful of cards. And on your turn, you'll be able to perform one of four actions. So you'll be able to draw cards to acquire new buildings. You'll also be able to develop, which allows you to turn a hat card from your hand into a permanent resource, which is pretty cool. You'll be able to build a building. Um, and of course, they'll give you victory points at the end of the game and sometimes a boost as well. Um, you'll be able to attract adventurers to your city and they also give you kind of end game scoring conditions. And finally, you'll be able to perform the tax action, which gives you gold. And that allows you to actually activate your resources. Um, so you see, there's quite a range of things you can do here. But you know what the best thing about them all is? Is that when somebody else performs an action, you get the option to follow, meaning you're a part of everybody else's turn. How, how cool is that? The game ends when somebody has placed a combination of 10 villages slash adventurers. Similar games to Villages of Valeria. Well, first thing to come to mind is something like Space Space, where what you do on your turn really affects other players, um, but also Race for the Galaxy as well, where your action that you choose um, allows other people to follow, but you're also trying to build up your own tableau. Because this is a card game, the setup is quick and easy, and it doesn't actually take up too much space on the table. The rule book is very, very good, and it takes about 25 minutes for two of us to play. Replayability wise, there are a lot of cards in both the buildings deck and the adventurers deck, so plenty of variety there. And not only that, but there are different end game scoring conditions on these cards that make it a bit different every time you play. Aesthetics wise, you may recognize this style from games such as Architects of the West Kingdom or Raiders of the North Sea. The art itself, however, is sharp and clear um, and definitely fits the theme very well. The component quality in this game is outstanding and um, I think the cards themselves are top notch and it comes with a first player token that actually has a real function. Overall this game could have looked really ordinary but somehow manages to stand out. So what's so special about Villages of Valeria? I think it has to be its attention to detail and how streamlined it feels to play. Everything about this game just fits together perfectly. So how do I really feel about Villages of Valeria? Firstly, the negatives. Um, I did find myself wishing that there was more that I could do in this game. Um, when you build your engine, you're still left with the options of, I can buy a building and build a building, or I can acquire an adventure to my tableau. And I just felt that as the game ramped up, that I would like to have done more. Um, now, the good thing to note is that this is remedied with the addition of some expansions, and I'll be releasing a review video for those pretty soon. The positives. Within the first couple of minutes of playing Villages of Valeria, I knew I was going to like it. It's quick, it's simple, and yet there's some very meaty decisions to be made here. And those are some of my favorite design features to find in a game. Secondly, I think the game really values you as a player. It, it made me feel very special to play it because there's always something nice happening to you. Um, and even if you make a mistake, the game somehow seems to encourage you um, by always giving you more things that you're capable of doing. I think that's a pretty special feat. Do I think you should have Villages of Valeria in your collection? For me, this game takes everything I love about small tableau builders and puts them into this beautiful package and streamlines them entirely and turns them into this really amazing, fun experience. Um, for me, if I had to play a tableau builder right now, this is the one I would pull down off of my shelf. So if those kind of games are your jam, then I really recommend checking this out. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. For more authentic board game reviews, why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my latest videos. Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Villages of Valeria, I'd absolutely love to hear from you. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.